Chess Master, Software Toolworks, 1989. Hello everyone, we're back again. Uh, this time we've got Chess Master. Um, previously to, well, previous to recording this, I actually did a little bit of research on Chess Master. I did not know there were so many Chess Master games. I kind of thought Chess Master was just kind of a one-off game on Nintendo and that was it, but no, there's like 20, 20 of these games. Um, the most recent one came out in 2007, I think was the last one that came out. Uh, it's actually owned by Ubisoft now, so take that for what it's worth. Um, previous videos I mentioned that I really didn't understand why, I really didn't understand why certain tabletop games uh, came to console, like why Monopoly is a, a console game, uh, why Wheel of Fortune or Jeopardy, you know, even uh, game shows, why they're um, uh, Nintendo games. And uh, the previous couple episodes, you know, kind of sport, hobby-ish kind of games. Um, chess, though, I will give a pass on because, like, playing pool, you have to know, you have to have a skill to play pool. Like, a physical skill to know how to hit the ball just right, to get the right English on it, to, you know, the right the right power and strength and all this. Bowling the same way, you gotta have the, the skill and the ability to know how to throw a curve. Or, uh, you know, there's physical elements involved with those games. Chess, though, is all up here. You know, you can't get better at chess by just moving the pawn harder. It doesn't work that way. So, uh, the rules are very black and white. You know, you move the piece where you want to move it, and that's your thought process to it. There's no physical element to it. So, I can understand how you can make this uh, a console game. That makes a little more sense to me, at least. Uh, and in situations like Monopoly, there's a lot of um, just chance involved. And I never really liked the idea that the game's AI kind of controls the chance of what you're going to land on. So, chess is kind of the uh, exception to the, not the rule, but the exception to my opinion, I'll say. So, that being said, we'll see what we got here. Um, you know, it's chess. I mean, the, we, we went over um, Battle Chess a while ago. Battle Chess was one of the more um, iconic games because of the fighting animations and whatnot. But, let's see what Chess Master has for us here. Oh, and this is THE Chess Master. Not sure if that makes a difference or not, but it is what it is. And as you see there, yeah, 1986, 87, 88, 89, all the way up through 2007, they kept making games, and so... I guess that's a pretty good run for a, a chess series. Yeah, I think so. Alright, so we're throwing right in here. Let's see what we got. Uh, I push B and it stopped the music, so... Don't know if that means anything. And we're moved to take back. I'm take back. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh, okay. I had to push select to get out of that mode. Okay, so B does that. A picks up the pieces. I did not want to move that, but who cares? Uh, start does nothing. Oh, okay. Select brings us up a screen. We can change change some things around here. Chess match and play self. Go to human, change sides. Take back self. Level play. Deep, deep thinking. Open, opening book. Okay, so, I guess a little play like the difficulty. Newcomer 1, 2, uh, 65, 60, 60, 10, 60, I don't even know what these numbers even mean. I guess there's some sort of difficulty setting? I'm not even sure what that, that really is. Level of play is infinite. So that means like infinite difficulty? I don't think I want that. Alright, let's just get back to what we're doing here. Uh, see if we can... Do something good here. Uh, let's just uh, uh, yeah, let's get the queen going. Ooh, fanfare! Boop 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 boop. boop. So a little fanfare. When we move the pieces. Interesting. I can tell this is definitely like like easiest difficulty there is. I just I just took the queen already. Okay, so this is probably is gonna go pretty fast. But I'll go ahead and speed it up here just to get to the end of the game and see what we got. Well, I won! Black is checkmated. Is that even a word? Is that even a thing? I thought it was just checkmate. Well, yeah, it's definitely on the easiest difficulty settings. That didn't take long at all. Um, nothing left to move. 
Okay, so I go back in here, what do we get? Uh, what else is there? Four coordinates are on, all right. White pieces, the view is chessboard. The view is war room, chessboard, war room. What's the war room? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, yeah, so it shows all the moves, capture pieces. Okay, I didn't even think to wonder if this game would have something like that. Okay, so... Yeah, well, that's... That's about it. Um, it's chess, so... Is what it is. Anyway. So that's Chess Master. A um, few things to note. Um, I actually learned how to play chess when I was... Really young. I actually don't remember how... I was probably six, maybe seven. Uh, my dad taught me how to play. And uh, he taught me on this old chess set that he had that was his mother's. So my grandmother's uh, chess set. Or at least my grandparents. I'm not sure. It might have been his dad's. All I know is this, this chess set came from my dad's parents, my grandparents. And um, it wasn't one of those um, standard style chess uh, chess pieces. You know, I think it's called Staunton style, Stanton style, Staunton, like that. Just the normal, iconic looking chess pieces, you know, with the, the pawn, like 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 the images here in, in, in Chess Master. It's just like the pawn with the little ball on top. The the bishop has the, the miter with the slash through it. Uh, the knight is just the horse's head. Like, that's a standard, like, iconic classic, uh, like, Staunton. It's called Staunton style, right? If I'm wrong, let me know. But uh, this chess set was not like that. This chess set was... <sighs> I'll say intricate. Like, all the pieces were humans. Like, all the pieces were human forms. Like, the pawns were... The pawns were probably about that tall. And they all had, like, um, medieval shields and, and helmets. Uh, the knights were actually complete horses with a knight on them. Uh, the rooks were actually elephants with, like, a little castle on their back. I used to know the name of this style of this chess set because I tried to find uh, I tried to find another one like it later in life and... okay sorry about that um, technical difficulty I just smash cut from um, my camera ran out of <laughs> my camera ran out of memory that's how prepared I was for this um, and uh, speaking of technical difficulties this is one of the things I think is kind of funny to mention um, when I was rendering uh, one of the last two videos my computer overheated from rendering these videos like it it was it got to like 115 degrees Celsius and it just shut down and that blew me away I, I'd never seen that happen before rendering videos so uh, long story short I had to get a uh, I had to get the shop back out of the basement and use the, the blowing feature of the shop back to cool my <laughs> cool my computer while it was rendering this one video um, after that I did go back and find that uh, the rendering software is using just way too many resources it was just maxing out the CPU for you know X amount of time it takes to render a video anyway just a little behind-the-scenes kind of stuff going on. Um, so as I was saying, um, I learned how to play chess. From my, I, learned how, I learned how to play chess from my dad. Uh, this one chess set, um, the pieces I was explaining. And uh, I used to know what the set was called. I looked up on eBay um, years ago. Found one that was uh, the one we had was silver and gold. Like it was not like a matted color. It was like shiny silver and gold. It wasn't actual silver and gold, but I mean it was, it was plastic with a silver and gold uh, coloring. And uh, when I went back a couple years ago on eBay, I found a set of the same style, but they were white and red, like just flat white and red. And I was tempted to buy it, but it didn't interest me enough. So I'll probably go back and, uh, now that I'm thinking about it, now that it's come up, I'll probably try to look into it again and see what it is. Um, what else? I used to think I was really good at chess, because I only played a few people almost all my life, and I won maybe half the time, and to me that's good enough. But later in life, um, other people were, I realized I was not good at it at all. And, um, um, anything else worth mentioning? No, battle chess we had before. I don't think there's any other chess, I shouldn't say this, because I'm going to feel stupid if I'm wrong, but I'm going to feel stupid, I guess. I don't think there's any other chess games on the Nintendo. Is there? I think there might, no... I don't think there is. If there is, I'll I'll find it eventually. But I'm, I don't I don't think there is. Um, so that's Chess Master. That was uh, the uh, the entry it had on the NES. Other than that, it was on like uh, the Commodore. I think. Of course, it was on the Commodore. Everything was on the Commodore. Commodore. Um, a lot of handheld consoles. Um, I should say handheld uh, 
uh, device's head uh, chess master. So yeah, that's uh, that's that. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, uh, pass it around. And uh, next up, we've got Conflict. That is a game I'm pretty sure I've never played. So that should be interesting. Oh, almost forgot again. Um, a rating. Um, it's really hard to write that, you know, because it is exactly what it's supposed to be. The game plays like chess. It is chess. It's 100% accurately chess. Um, nothing really flashy about it. I guess it doesn't have to be. Um, so, you know, I guess you really can't rate that, you know. 7 out of 10, it is what it is. It does a good job of being chess. Um, it shows all the moves. Um, yeah, I'll just give it a 7 out of 10. The only other thing I probably would have liked to see differently is be able to change the colors of the board and the pieces. Um... But that is what it is. So I'll stick with that. Um, so yeah, next up is Conflict, and I'll see you then.